Hi, Reyna. How you doing? Um, this is Danny from Game Grumps and NSP. And uh, yeah, thanks for reaching out. I got your message. Um, very cool. Congratulations on graduating uh, from university. University. That's... <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. University. Um, yeah, I... I think it's I think it's really fantastic um, that you're going into animation. Um, just wonderful uh, to know what you love doing, and um, and I understand the uh, what would the word be? I guess trepidation about going into uh, the world, you know, with with your degree. Um, it's that time of your life, you know, because when you're when you're growing up. Um, you know what's coming next, you know, like when you're in fifth grade, you know, sixth grade is coming. And when you're in high school, you know, college is coming next. Um, but when you graduate from college or university, um, it's, it's sort of the first time where like it becomes more open-ended, you know, and, and it's not really clear what the next step is. And that's very understandable to feel some, you know, anxiousness and, um, concern about that. Uh, I'm here to tell you, do not worry. You know, um, it may feel like the next move you make is going to be the thing that locks you into an entire future of your life. Um, but that's not the case. You know, uh, the next move you make might be awesome and you might go right into your field and, uh, that'll, that'll be it. But there's a there's just as likely a chance that you know it'll take you on a path where you're like okay this isn't exactly what I want, and you can just change it you know um, every band that I was in before Ninja Sex Party I thought well this is the band you know this is this is the one um, and it wasn't the one it wasn't even close you know and and it took a while to um, accept that sometimes things don't work out the way you plan them and also you're a lot more in control of your life than you may believe, you know? Um, as far as advice goes for doing what you love for a living, uh, never ever give up is certainly an important one. Um, you know, I, I started doing music and comedy when I was 19 and I didn't have a breakthrough at it until I was 34. Um, but it won't take you that long. You'll, it'll be much better for you, I promise. Uh, I, I was a little bit of a stoner and uh, drifted for a while. Um, but that's, well, let me give you some practical advice. One thing that really helped was taking a career course. Uh, there's career coaching out there. Um, the, the group I used was called Capes Coaching in New York City, but I'm sure they do online stuff if you want to reach out to them. C-A-P-E-S, coaching. They're wonderful, run by Betsy Capes. Um, there's a book you might like called The Artist's Way that, um, I believe the last name of the author is Cameron, uh, Jules Cameron or Julia Cameron, something like that. Um, but that's sort of like a helpful guide for people getting into a creative field at the beginning. And, uh, check out a TED Talk by Elizabeth Gilbert on the concept of artistic genius, uh, if you just look up on YouTube, TED Talk, Elizabeth Gilbert, genius, it should come right up. And I think that's really inspiring too. Because there, there's no clear path, like no, no two people's paths will be the same when you enter into a creative field. Um, there is a measure of luck involved for sure, but luck is by design. And if you keep working hard at it and put yourself in the best positions for luck to uh, you know, reveal itself to you, then you'll be in great shape. So I am wishing you all the best. I hope that was helpful. And, uh, I think, I think you're going to go on to do great things, you know, um, just, uh, don't be too hard on yourself. Don't feel it all needs to happen right away. Or like everything's riding on your next move. Like you can just take a nice deep breath and relax and, uh, just know that everything's going to work out the way you want it to. Good luck, Raina. Uh, congratulations on following your dreams, and I wish you the best. Take care.